hello dear students welcome back to my channel in this video we'll see important theorem for uh, tomorrow's SLC exam students uh, this year the uh, theorem will be for 3 marks plus for 5 marks for 3 marks definite theorem is prove that the tangent drawn from action point to a circle are equal very important theorem for 3 marks and for five, 5 marks you can expect state and proof Hale's theorem then the areas of similar triangle or areas the state and proof Pythagoras theorem out of these three uh, you can expect one theorem for five marks and a criteria you can check once before going to exam otherwise you can uh, try to learn it the important theorem for five marks will be state and proof Pythagoras theorem then the areas of similar triangles then state and proof Pythagoras theorem for 3 marks the definite theorem is what the tangent drawn from the external point to a circle are equal now we will be seeing in detail all these 4 theorems students other theorem that is uh, the tangent at any point to a circle is perpendicular to the radius to the point of contact you can uh, go through the theorem once that will be asked for 1 marks the statement or the angle between the radius and the tangent will be what it will be always 90 degree this kind of question will be asked for one marks now we'll study about the three marks important theorem take a notebook and pencil first draw write the statement that statement will be asked in the exam the tangent drawn from external point to a circle are equal students before explaining this theorem I I suggest that tomorrow's paper will be easy for to score about 60 marks for 5 to 10 marks you need to little bit struggle a bit to score uh, about 70 or 75 plus but the papers will be very easy go through all the problems what I shared in my worksheet many of the questions I have already solved and shared go through the textbook and model papers board proprietary papers in case if you are not able to if you don't know any problem don't panic leave that question and try to move to next question and try to solve other question what are the question you do know you can attempt it at the later part of the examination but don't try to leave any question do try to attempt all the question now student draw draw a circle P is the external point A and B are what the points on the circle O is the center of the circle join PA and PB O A and OB now wh what is zeta from the given figure we O is the center of the circle P is the external point PA and PB are the tangents what we need to prove we need to prove that PA equals PB students first you need to write the figure by looking at the figure you should write the data you should not buy at it O is the center of the circle P is the external point and PA and PB are the tangents what we need to prove that PA equals PB construction what I have done I have joined OA OB OP I have joined in triangle OAP and OBP in triangle OAP and OBP OA equals OB because it is the radius of the same circle and also o angle OAP equals angle OBP equals 90 degree because we know that radius drawn at the point of contact is perpendicular, the perpendicular to tangent and also we have a common side OP that is the hypotenuse of the triangle OAP so by CL one angle and two sides are equal uh, in a right angle triangle by RHS theorem we can say that triangle OAP is congruent to triangle OBP that means the tangent PA will be equal to PB students if you write this much three marks if you have not learned this problem sorry st uh, theorem do try to learn now itself important and definite three mark theorem for your exam the tangent drawn from an external point to a circle are equal next theorem prove that the tangent at any point of circle is perpendicular to the radius to the point of contact this is also three marks theorem you can go through once before going to exam 
next state and prove thales theorem important five marks theorem <coughs> students what i expect is thales theorem and pythagoras theorem but many of the resource as per resource teachers uh, knowledge what they are telling areas of similar triangles is also very important so don't take risk learn state and prove thales theorem state and prove pythagoras theorem and also areas related to similar triangles now we learn state and prove thales theorem the statement is what if a line is drawn parallel to one side of a one side of a triangle to intersect the to intersect the other two side in a distinct point other two sides are divided in the same ratio see students draw a triangle draw a line parallel to one side of a triangle intersecting at two distinct points and it will divide the other two sides in the same ratio now in triangle abc we know that d is parallel to bc students i told you already by looking at the figure you should write the data to prove construction you should not by have the theorem to prove what we need to prove ad by bd equals ae by ec now join dc and join eb draw dn perpendicular to ae and el perpendicular to ad now area of triangle ad is what half into base into height half into base is ad height is el in the same way area of triangle bd equals what half into db into el el and el will cancel out we get area of triangle ad equals ad divided by area of triangle bd equals ad by db students if you have already learnt just it is a revision for you now in the same way, area of triangle ad by area of triangle cd equals half into ae into dn divided by half into ec into dn dn and dl will cancel and also half and half will cancel what we get is ae by ec very simple theorem now we know that a, a the triangle bde is equal to area of triangle cd because they are on the same base they are on the same base de that means the areas will be same so that we can say that ad by db equals ae by ec so first draw the figure then data to prove construction then the proof part if you write with the statement we'll get five marks next uh, the a criteria you can go through the theorem once next the important theorem the areas of similar triangle are proportional to the square on the square on the corresponding sides that is draw two triangles which are similar to each other a b c and d e f draw what perpendicular line a l and d m data what it is given the triangle abc is similar to triangle df if the triangles are similar that means the corresponding sides will be in same proportion that is ab by de equals bc by ef ac by df to prove what what we need to prove that area of triangle abc divided by area of triangle dc def equals bc square by ef the areas of similar triangle are proportional to the squares of the corresponding side it can be bc square by ef square or ac square by df square or ab square by de square what we need to do the construction is draw al perpendicular to bc and dm perpendicular to ef now compare triangle alb and triangle dme we know that angle abl equals dm a b l will be equal to d e m because from the data itself we know that it's similar the same way alb equals gm equals 90 degree it is from the construction and triangle alb is congruent to triangle dme because they are equiangular in the same way from the two triangles al by dm equals ab by de by a criteria in the same way bc by ef equals ab by de bc by ef equals what ab by d because it's in the 
data because the two triangles are similar therefore now we place ab by de by bc by ef the same way take area of triangle abc by area of triangle df equals half into base into height base is bc height is al in the same way ef by df now area of triangle abc by area of triangle df equals bc by ef now replace what al by dm as what bc by f now al by dm is what bc by f now bc into bc bc square divided by ef square very simple theorem to score 5 marks you have to compare triangles alb and dme and show that it is equiangular and take the apply what a criteria from the data make sure that al by dm equals bc bc by f then substitute it then you will get the proof the area of triangle abc by area of triangle df equals bc square by f students i am going little bit fast because i don't need to waste much time of yours just revise the concepts now moving to next important five marks theorem in a right angle triangle the square on the hypotenuse is equal to sum of squares of other two sides that is pythagoras theorem to a right angle triangle abc right angle that b data is what in triangle ab in triangle abc abc equals 90 degree what we need to prove that ac square equals ab square plus bc square what is the construction draw bd perpendicular to ac compare triangle abc and triangle abd abc equals angle abc equals abd equals 90 degree it's from the data and also bad is common right first take triangle abc bigger triangle with triangle abd compare with triangle abd what is the common angle it is bad now we can say that two triangles are equiangular that means the corresponding sides will be in proportion ab by ad equals ac by ab now cross multiply ab into ab ab square equals ac into ad now compare in the same way compare triangle abc with the smaller triangle bdc students compare the bigger triangle with the smaller triangles that is triangle abd and triangle bdc and prove that they are equiangular then take the concept of proportionality acb is common and also we can say that triangle ab similar to triangle bdc what are the triangle you take here those two will be similar apply what a criteria bc by dc equals ac by bc cross multiply bc into bc bc square ac into dc as it is now add equation 1 and 2 ab square plus bc square equals ac into ad plus ac into dc ac and ac is common take that out what we get ad plus dc ac into ac is what ac square very simple but what you need is you need to practice you need to practice to score 5 out of 5 student you, sh you should not panic you should be very calm in the examination hall the papers will be very easy just you need practice you have lot of time now also just give your best to get good marks in case if you are not able to solve one or two questions that is not a big problem try to try to take it positively but my suggestion is always try to attempt our questions scoring is different aspect but attempting all the 38 question is very important what are the knowledge you have gained throughout the year try to write the answers try to write it neatly try to write the formulas try, try to write the given data don't try to miss any questions don't try to think that applications of trigonometry i cannot attempt no don't think like at least write down the figure write down the trigonometric ratios try to attempt i made as easy as possible to attempt all the questions from the, all the chapters i posted maximum concepts and also uh, related to areas areas related to circle 
you can expect little bit application based question still you can attempt all those questions in the examination <coughs> many of the questions will be from the textbook it is it, the exam will be very easy to score around 60 plus marks but the you need the effort you should attempt all the questions give importance to the theorems what i told not after that you can read a criteria and also the circle theorem two circles theorem but what are the theorems i told now give stress to that then you can study it in case if they ask that theorem also you can attempt it in the exam students thank you for watching the video best wishes for your exam hopefully what are the videos i have posted that has uh, given confidence in you the main purpose of uh, doing video is to educate the students is to maximum educate the students and to transfer my knowledge whatever i have gained best wishes for your exam hopefully you all come out with the flying colors thank you